Here is a simple lesson. We've got to learn how to make decisions. And most people don't know how to make decisions. This is not a statement of theory. This is a fact. I was doing this when I was cleaning floors. No education. I didn't know how to run a business. This is powerful stuff. That's why successful people make decisions so fast. They know what they want. Let those lines represent levels of vibration. Every frequency is connected to the one above and the one below. They're all connected. There's no line of demarcation where one frequency stops and another starts. They're all connected and they're all together. Think of this, that's my phone. That represents my phone. This represents your phone. If I want to talk to you on your phone, I've got to get on your frequency. The second I'm on your frequency, you and I are connected. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. If I dial your number, boom, like that, I'm connected to you. Makes no difference where you are. I could take a picture here, I could hit send, and simultaneous with me hitting it, you've got it. There's a great lesson here for us. We seem to have a basic understanding of this. I think what I'm saying here, everyone in the room understands this when we're using our phones. However, when it comes to life, we get lost. We don't seem to understand it. Well, let's try and understand it with respect to decisions. We operate on frequency. My voice is being amplified on a particular frequency. You and I think on frequencies. Thought is energy. Do you know your thoughts are the most potent form of energy there is? Your thought would make the laser beam look like a toy. You'll have a friend a long ways away from you and um, you're thinking about them a lot and, and damn if the phone doesn't ring, it's them. You see, you're thinking, your thoughts activated cells in their brain that got them thinking of you and they acted, they phoned you. We do this all the time, okay? Now, let's suppose this is the frequency that you're thinking on. If that's the frequency you're thinking on, that's gonna dictate the results that you get. The results you get are nothing but the manifestation of your own thinking. We become what we think about. That is the one point that every great leader has agreed on. They've disagreed in virtually every other idea, but that one, we become what we think about. Now let's clearly understand, nothing is created or destroyed. All science and all theology teach that. All the ideas, it's all the knowledge there ever was or ever will be is omnipresent, it's all here. We didn't have to get it, we've already got it. What we do is, gotta do is tune into it. So let's say that's where we wanna go. This is where I am, that's where I wanna go. How do I get there? Well, I'll say, I'm gonna do that. This is where the average person's thinking. You can relate to that. I'm gonna do that as soon as the kids are out of school. That's not gonna do it. I'm gonna start my own business as soon as I get the money. And you know, you do that, and pretty soon the decision fades, and then the goal fades. Why? Well, you didn't get the money. So you couldn't do it. Problem was, you didn't have the money. You talk to anybody that's high in finance and they'll tell you the money is never the problem. Ideas are the problem. You got the right idea, you'll always find the money. Well, you see, we're thinking down here on this frequency. Your mind and your thoughts are down here on this frequency. What you want is up here on a higher frequency. You cannot get what you want up there while your thoughts are down here. Your mind and thoughts must focus on the same frequency as what you want. If you want it, it's already here. And you make a decision, it's gotta be a committed decision. You say, I'm doing that. Now the second you make a committed decision, everything starts to change you begin to think and act like the person you want to become. You stop thinking down there, you're thinking up here now. You're thinking on a higher frequency. Want is the only prerequisite for making a decision. Doesn't matter whether you have the money. Do you really want it? If you really want it, you will get it. But you've got to really want it. 
Yet you also have to understand that everything you need is here. But you've got to be specific. You could be a waiter. Somebody leaves you a nice tip. You got more money. That's not it. You've got to be specific how much more money. You need to know exactly what you want. Yet you don't have to know where it's going to come from. You do not have to understand all the basic principles between sending the picture to the person on the other side of the world for it to get there. All you have to do is know how to do it. Want is the only prerequisite for making a decision. That is so important, you should write it down. Write it somewhere that you're going to see it often. Maybe get a sign and put it up in your house. This is such powerful information. You'd think it would be taught in all schools. The truth is it's not. That's rather sad because it can be, but it's not. You only have to know what you want. It doesn't matter whether you've got the money. That makes no difference. It doesn't matter whether you've got the resources. That doesn't make any difference. It doesn't matter if you know the right people. It doesn't make any difference. Now, this sounds so preposterous to a person that's never studied this. Listen, the money is here. You know that song, love is in the air? You know the song? Well, change the lyrics. The money's in the air. <laughs> it is. When you're in harmony with it, you will never stop it flowing to you. Money goes where it's invited, and it stays where it's welcome. Listen to most people. The way they talk about money, you think it was the worst stuff in the world. I get so sick of it, I just never have enough money. Well, they're getting very angry. Why don't you change your attitude? Now, you see, that really sounds stupid. Here they are, they're in need of money, and somebody says, change your attitude. They don't even know what attitude is. Yet, it sounds like we need so much more than attitude change. But really, that's all I changed. So you've got to understand what attitude is. See, there's a power flowing to and through you, Daisy. It's flowing right into your consciousness. It has no form. It's a clear, unadulterated power, and as it flows into your conscious mind, you have the ability to make out of it anything you want. And you know something? I don't know if you know what you want, but you are a persistent individual. You are naturally persistent. You're genetically designed that way. We can do anything. We've got the faculties to do the job. Most of us are going by what we hear, see, smell, taste, touch. But your lessons come from your inside world, not outside, inside. And you have to use your higher faculties. Perception, the will, reason, imagination, memory, intuition. Want is the only prerequisite for making a decision. You've got to get this, burn this into your mind. You don't even have to understand this in any depth. Just accept it. If you really want it, that's all you need. You don't need the money. You don't need to know how you're going to get it. You don't need to know any of that stuff. But you've got to really want it. You've done this. You've done this in different times, not really understanding what you've done. Look at this. Paradigms and cybernetics. Anybody has read Psycho-Cybernetics? Psycho-Cybernetics was written by uh, Napoleon Hill. It is so good. Cybernetics is the science of control and communication in the animal and some machines. Uh, cybernetic controls your thermostat. Or con the thermostat controls the house. The cybernetic system is in the thermostat. It'll change the temperature of the house. It'll turn the heat on, turn it off. Turn the air on, turn it off. Automatically, when you deviate from the set goal. Goals maybe to have the house at 69 or 70. It'll hold it at that. If somebody leaves the door open, it gets too hot or too cold, the thermostat will shift it. It'll change the air conditioning or the furnace. It's all done automatic. Well, your paradigm is like a thermostat. It's like a cybernetic system. Paradigms and cybernetics are both control systems. They operate essentially on the same principle. Both maintain a definite course of action and will not deviate from the course that has been established. Well, most people's paradigm has them working toward a bad end. Most people's paradigm has them working toward debt. Most people's paradigm has them working towards dumb jobs. You must alter the paradigm if you desire to achieve improved results. A company operates on a paradigm. A country operates on a paradigm. It's called culture. You have a culture in your family. The family has a paradigm. Family operates a certain way. Well, this is something the family always does. And if one of the kids wants to go off, what the hell are you doing? We've always done this. It's a family. Oh. Let me let you in on a secret, Dad. I'm changing the paradigm. <laughs> you've got to be strong. But if you're going to be strong, you've got to be aware. Awareness is power. We're going to become aware. School focuses on the intellect. 
the degree be able to shape your future after be willing and able to change your paradigm. Always be under construction. Always. You should never be satisfied with where you are. When I was a little kid, Grandma always told me I should be satisfied. Grandma was wrong. She was like an angel of God, a dear little old woman, but she was wrong. Your results should always be under construction. You always want to be improving them. Now you got to ask, are you ready to change?